Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is AJ, and I'd like to welcome you all back to another episode of Metal Gear Solid 2. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to be on part 5 here where we go to Strut B to check out what's happening. Hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. If you guys do, a like is always appreciated. And definitely subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for joining me, and let's get started. Oh my god. Ride and watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right, I'm giving it a try. <laughs> Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver. Oh, and once it yeah, runs yeah. out, you will fall. Oh, it will. I gotta say, when it comes to mechanics, Metal Gear Solid 2, like certain mechanics, like just attention to detail, um, as in like, you know, like, having to be very, very careful, worrying about noise effects and everything like that. I gotta say, I think Metal Gear 2, uh, or excuse me, Metal Gear Solid 2, um, beats every other Metal Gear in that case. Now, I will say Metal Gear Solid 3 in terms of mechanics is also great, because, um, oh, there we go, I was expecting you to move. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 is also great too in that, but in terms of, like, stealth action, I gotta say, I think Metal Gear Solid 2 works in the best way possible. I don't know, like when I when I replay all four of them, I will definitely give my personal review on what I thought was the best. Oh boy, here we are. Oh my. I think we're about to meet a, uh, a special somebody from what I remember. Better or worse than the Cyborg Ninja? Definitely more gruesome in these graphics. That character is uh, is very brutal. Now, I, I was gonna make a theory for those who've played the game and how he was able to dodge the bullets, but I don't want to say anything so quickly yet because I'm gonna sound like a complete idiot. Oh boy, what's that noise? 
Oh. Ah, oh, that's gross if you're... Well, he's called Vamp for a reason. One of the actually, he's not that hard of a boss fight to be honest with you. Five today. Let me shut up. Or rather, six. You got a little cut here, you notice that? Where is he? Character in Metal Gear Solid 2, I gotta say, is awesome. Definitely annoying. Hold on, awesome. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. Oh, we know you're not. We know. He doesn't know. We know. My name is. My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Are you a Navy SEAL? Hideo. How did you get in? Had to name Fast him. Fast descent from a Navy chopper. Oh my god. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound, Delta Force? I just found it funny I that... was part of the Army's uh, Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking Mission 60. Weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier?
So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Raiden, what's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the President? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. Colonel does remind things like that What's very that? late. Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. Oh. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak. That was Vamp. Oh, yeah. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after US allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than 100 people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. <laughs> oh my god, Snake. Oh my god. Take this too. That just never ends, does it? This is Bravo Zero, currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? 
Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Hmm. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. All oh, right, two strut, what BC or um Bri bridge BC that we go. Uh, I just came to collect some stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and use this as well. See, like I was saying, there's so much dialogue. So some, I'm sorry if I like, I'm just used to talking because for those who don't know, I make like GTA gaming videos, and I'm used to like just talking constantly. Um, but. Uh, this is, I, I guess, after all, Let's Play, so I guess it's kind of the way I want to govern it, but, um, I'll try not to cut, or talk too much in cutscenes, but like I was saying, um, I thought that was his nanomachine stand on him for a minute there, um, but I didn't realize he lost a few pound, few pints of blood. I think we're all good on loot, yeah, we can keep going. Pliskin, as they call him, fell asleep. Dialogue. Jack, it's me. Everything okay, Rose? Don't you need to save the mission data? Oh yeah. Oh I yeah. Do. Thanks for the reminder. Thank you. You actually came in very handy dandy for once. Um, let's go to normal. See, so yeah, that's that's how long I have not played for. Uh, the last time when I did play was for an hour, or is that? I think that's just the date and time. Okay. Or maybe that's the playtime? I don't know, that might be playtime. Yeah, playtime, definitely. Definitely playtime, it's not 158 over here. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough? And we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. Okay. Alright, so do we... F oh, we got something now. There we go. I would like a tranquilizer, however. Um, I have a feeling I was supposed to pick that up like so long ago, and I just, for some reason, haven't. But no biggie. We'll um, we'll always find a way through. What was that? What was that? Okay, I don't know what that noise was. Right. Okay. So we've been through there. Oh, we're going on to the bridge, BC. This is, this is very, very nice. Oh, the gun sounds are good. Could use them for GTA. Oh, yeah. My favorite boss in this game of all time. Don't care what nobody says. Fortune. 
Like that that's what why I thought that? Vamp was able to dodge everything. Could be wrong. Come, put me out of my misery. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? <laughs> Just happened. Today is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? At least we're not in that situation. No. Oh. I'm so sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. You know what's crazy about Metal Gear Boss? Oh my god, they just all died at once. That's sad. Yeah, she has like such a very sad story behind her. There's a lot of Metal Gear bosses that have such a sad story. It is unbelievable. This being one of them, of course, right? Colonel, SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. Oh, yeah. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier, too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The President can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire too, it's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. <laughs> I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Raiden, you're needed on Strut C. 
This game's got some humor. This game's got some humor, definitely. Okay. See, I would end the episode now, but I think I'll do what I exactly did last time and just keep going. I think, I think I'm a little too low. What do you guys think, right? All right, there we go. I'm a little higher now. Let's make sure there's no sentry. So that's destroyed. But we can get this before someone uh, fell off. They left me that. So thank you for that. I still want the tranquilizer, and I don't remember how you got that. But I know you can get one. We are in Strut C. So I'm understanding the struts a little better as I'm, as I'm, uh, a little more aged. Oh, I need to, I need to find a, I need to find a thing as soon as possible. What? Oh, hello. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a lot of those. Definitely gonna need a lot of those. Is anybody in here? Oh, hello. Oh, I thought that was an M9. It's not. Nope. Okay. Okay, just knowing that. Okay. Just wanna make sure no one was in here. What the hell? Okay then. Demonetize central. Uh, let's go back out. Right. I need a. Uh, I need a. I need one of those computer thingies as soon as possible. If that's the game. If that's the way the game's gonna be, then I guess uh, that's the way it's gonna be. Oh boy. That is no good. Oh. Freeze! Don't shoot. You a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. <laughs> How did you get here Don't so quick? Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Steelman. He looks so I'm much better than Nat the old Scolio, games. Nat Indian head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. In the old game, sorry. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students, the Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. Mm. He built an atomic bomb when he was only 10. I created him in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. That's interesting, huh? There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Ryden. That's an odd name. Any other survivors? <laughs> there was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. 
Where is he? I haven't seen him since that oh. skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the Big Shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yup. So we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again. Oh yeah. You know it. After the Glad to hear still the times he calls me. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? Oh my god. <laughs> There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. Yeah, that's right. This is a C4 bomb. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. Yeah. That's right. I've established a link-up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. 
Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Oh, yeah. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? If I'm correct, in F2, right? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on Shell 1, another six on Shell 2, a total of 12 bombs at least. Considering the Shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion, and it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Yeah, that would stop static equilibrium. Exactly what it would do. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell too. Take this. Thank goodness. What's this? Level one card. Security card issued to Shell personnel. The Big Shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Writing, your card key can open doors with security clearance level 1. Pliskin, your card can get you into level 3 areas. You need it to get next door to Shell 2. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. Oh, excuse me, sorry. You stay that. here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. Huh. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan, just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares That art in the wins. background. Oh, who dares wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semperfy. We'll be pretty solid. That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Semperfy. Marine Corps talk. Mm -hmm. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And Who Dares Wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Oh yeah, we learned that in Call of Duty. <laughs> Sorry. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. I'm... Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. Hmm. Ain't wrong there, buddy.
Gonna assume a code echo? No, surprisingly not. Bomb squad, nice. You guys can finally see the trophies. Okay guys, so, I think what I should call it for this episode, I was originally, how I like to plan these episodes is once we get a new objective, I usually like to go on with the episode. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy, if you guys did, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, like I said, my whole goal, uh, my whole goal of this series is to finish it, um, as, oh that looks ugly, uh, to finish it as much as I can, and then we move on to MGS3 and 4. Um, if you like Metal Gear Solid, definitely stick around. I will be doing a lot of that and uh, more to come in the future. Um, otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, guys, and peace out.